Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're all doing very well, looking after yourselves. And I've been off YouTube for about a week, uh, which has been nice. And um, we know what the next raid boss is going to be after Verizion. Verizion, speaking of which, is now here. It is time for raid hour in about 45 minutes. So I'm actually going to head outside, amazingly, and um, do some Verizion raids. Try and get that shiny. No luck so far. I have managed to duo it fairly easily. Speaking of duos, I do have a Giratina duo, um, but obviously all of the hype around Giratina has gone, so I might post that, I might not. And we now know the next community day. Let's go through some of this, shall we? Priority. After Verizion, which leaves in like six days' time, um, Terrakion. Terrakion is the final in the trio of the Swords of Justice. I know there's Kel Keldio or whatever it is, the fourth one technically, but Terrakion is coming back with a shiny uh, for the very final week of May, which is cool. It's a very interesting shiny. It's obviously not as good as Rampardos and you know, Community Day Rhyperia as a rock type, but it's a cool shiny, so I'll be going for that. Verizion is here with the shiny, uh, gonna try and get that. And Community Day, I mean, it's C dot. <laughs> it's C dot. There's an up and a downside to this. So C dot shift tree, which it evolves into, is obviously one of the most useful in uh, Great League PvP, and th that's where the exclusive move Bullet Seed that it will get on Community Day is going to play a very interesting part in making it quite a PvP re meta relevant Pokémon. Bullet Seed is as good as Snarl in terms of damage and energy charging and all that stuff, but obviously Bullet Seed is super effective as a grass move and you know more people want to run a grass move. So I'm quite excited because I can Elite TM my Hundo, give it Bullet Seed for PvP. C dot Shiny Family is fantastic. However, we are drifting quite a long way from the heights of Beldum and Bagon community days of days gone by. Obviously, we're going to be playing from home on this one. It's May 24th, 11 till 5 p.m. your local time. Because it's a stay-at-home community day where they want you to stay at home, run an incense, if you have stops like me, I'll be luring them. Having a less meta-heavy Pokemon is quite a good thing to do. Obviously, we had Abra um, beforehand, and Abra was a pretty successful community day. Play from home, I thought it was very good. You could sort of drift in and out, play quite chilled. I enjoyed it. That'll be interesting. There's obviously the random go snapshot thing where you can probably get shiny C dot through that. However, they haven't announced what bonus is going alongside it. I hope they put three times catch Stardust because Stardust is quite nice to have as a bonus anyway because um, I don't f fancy XP and also it's a play from home thing. Now, update! Ha! Huh. I didn't record Snubble Research Day that happened on the weekend. Uh, what I can say is I got three shiny Snubble. I was extremely happy about because that shiny I've been chasing for months, years even. So getting that family completed and doing that is fantastic. Spotlight Hour. Spotlight Hour was yesterday and uh, it was Sunkern and this was one where I did not give a toss, shall I say. I got the shiny. I got another shiny sunker. I literally dropped an incense and then my dude, I was sat in my bedroom and my GPS drift was insane. 140 encounters, one shiny. Um, I would have preferred it if it was one of the Pokemon from last month, but can't complain. I'm gonna head out. We're gonna do some Verizion raids and do a mixture of remote and IRL raids and see how this goes. One thing I would like to add is Yesterday, at the very end of my run, I managed to get myself the ultimate 100% Bidoof. I got 100% Bidoof, and I poured 270,000 dust into it. <laughs> and so it's maxed, with 720 CP or whatever. We have a check for a Verizion, and 12 for a candy. I have missed raiding in person, very much so. But it's not a red one, not a red one. 1706, not that bad. We'll try and catch it. Right. Radar has kicked off, and this is like, how? It's been like two months <laughs> since a raid hour where we're actually outside. Last Giratina raid hour, I didn't bother uh, in person. So, uh, Verizion, it's a cool shiny. And uh, I'll do a little thing. Since it's here for another six days, you want to combat it with your flying types. Flying types, it's double weak to, because it's a fighting grassmon. 
You can also use your psychic types like Mewtwo, but your Moltres, your Rayquaza, your Honchkrow, or amazingly your Tornadus. If you've got a decent Tornadus, that's actually quite high up there. Um, and Unpheasant. Unfortunately, still don't have a decent Unpheasant squad. I would like to actually get some okay Unpheasant for a laugh. But um, this is a squad I rolled with last time since it was here and uh, I'm rolling with it again. So we're going to jump in on this and see if it can be as red as my screen record bar and as, as red as our lobby. While I'm at it, you know I have my little gym coin system moan. Five coins for doing ten tasks. You're mad. Niantic, you're mad. 27 hours you need in a gym to get the 50 coins, which is what's happening currently in Australia. A lot of people are not that happy. Um, obviously the gym nerf I feel is a bit unnecessary. The coins from the task, fine, but think of it this way. We drove to Dortmund and back in less time than it would take you to get 50 coins from the new gym system. Think about that. You could drive to GoFest Germany last year from London and get back and you would still beat the new coin system. Niantic, you muppets. <laughs> in the red, about to take it down, in with the Schlando Rayquaza, which I'm very nearly got to best buddy. 1727 is the non-boosted hundo, boosted hundo is 2159, and we got 1713, I think I saw. Not too bad, not too bad. But the key thing is, is it going to match the colour of the screen record bar? No, it doesn't. Oh, 1718. Nope. That's actually not that bad. That could be a 96, maybe. Let's try and catch it. It's very easy to hit, but because it's easy to hit, of course it's a complete prick <laughs> to catch it. There we go, hit another excellent. It's insanely close. It's as close as Ho-Oh is, pretty much. Um, oh, speaking of, I don't know if I did say anything about Ho-Oh. Uh, Ho-Oh from the Special Research, mine was... Why am I giving it a pineapple? Oh, thank you. Come on. Um, I think we're moving. <laughs> I think we're moving on. Um, oh, yes, Metagross, you beautiful bastard. Um, my ho -Oh was mediocre, not shiny, but it does have double ground type moves, which is quite cool. I'm going to have to catch this off camera. Do excuse me, because it's seriously irritating. <laughs> we managed to get it, which is nice, with a star piece down. 98. 98 14 attack. Cool. Well, now we're jumping on in this one. Let's try again. Obviously, raid hours come back because you can remote raid, but the thing is, if you can walk around a little bit more and be safe, then you can do that. Certainly here in the UK now, with some of the rules being relaxed. We have checks number two coming in. And uh, that 98 was the wrong 98, the 14 attack. 1708, okay, so we're getting above 1700, which is fine. 15 revives, I don't need those. Not red, not a red shiny. 16 balls. Any luck? Hit the grate, do one throw on camera. Yeah? Somebody got a shiny at least. We have check number three. And uh, we're back to mediocre because it's 16, 7, 1697. But that's not important. What is important is shiny. Not. Not shiny. Check number four. Is this four already? Yeah. 12 high potions. Sick. Uh, no shiny. No 1660. Shiny. This is horrific. <laughs> Check numero five. Is it five? It's been a long time since I've done a raid out. 1677. All mediocre. Can it be red? No. Now though. Yes! Francesco has it. 1684. Put it up. Put it up. There we go. Nice. Nice shiny. Check number six of the raid hour. Probably like raid number 10 or so. 1711. That's alright. Yeah, That's alright. Yeah, it's just shiny. Blah, be good. blah, blah, blah. No red candy. Is it red? Great. No. No shiny. Damn. And check Numbo 7. 1700 ish. That's alright. Three red candy. Where's the sun coming from? Are you stuck as well? Yeah. No shiny. 
check number nine. The other one ran. 17, 18. If you get in okay ones and then they just keep running. Uh, nine rare candy. Any luck? Green. Green. Green, you bastards. 17, Green. 18. And the IVs of this radar have not been too bad, but. For you. I don't care about the IVs. <laughs> Raid number 10 of. Is 10? I think it's 10. Hey, 1680. This is much more like it. This is shiny potential uh, CP. Uh, no, green. Have a straight great throw, you bastard. We have check number 11 coming in very shortly. Um, this is one I would just like to get the shiny off and be done with Niantic. That would be lovely. Let me know if you have your shiny Verizion already. And while I'm at it, why not subscribe? Subscribe if you're new. Welcome. I didn't. I was talking to you guys. I didn't see the CP of the Mon. Doesn't matter. No, it's green. 16.59. Is that? That's not 67%. No. Check number 11. My battery is running extremely low, so this has got to be very quick. 16.91. Don't care. Is it going to be red? Ooh, no. No shiny. Catching off camera. See you later. <laughs> well. We are now back at home. That was raid hour, the very first raid hour I've bothered to participate in since they announced them. There was one for Giratina, but Tom took my account and I couldn't be bothered. The Kanto week wasn't especially kind to me for shinies and uh, Johto's being less so. So I think so far I've had shiny Centret, shiny Chikorita, first one since 2018. The only Sneasel I ever saw in the entire of the Johto events been going on, shiny Sneasel. Then Spotlight Hour Sunken, and then Pineco last night from a Quest Shiny. So five Shinies, none of which I really wanted. I would like Dunsparce, but I'm not too fussed. Machop seems to be spawning a lot, which I still need that Shiny. I think after the whole, after Darkrai, I'm a bit more mellow now. I'm sort of like, I'm just taking it chill, not really bothering too much. If I don't get the Shinies, I don't get them. I'm not exactly in the most enthusiastic kind of move for the game. Um, particularly since all that gym coin thing happened. Jesus Christ. Interesting. Um, uh, I might put this link in the description. An ex Niantic employee posted on Reddit about his experience working for the company. Now, there is something to say with that in the sense that they are an ex employee, they might be disgruntled, a bit pissed off, that sort of thing. But actually, hearing about what he had to say kind of makes sense with decisions that Niantic make and apparently they're the sort of company where they they prioritize the people's ego not being hurt over actual sensible decisions and that's where I think that the Jim coin system has fallen into in a sense that nobody told the Muppet who thought of it um, that it was a bad idea uh, same with, you know, potential shiny releases, probably how Feebas Day back in 2019 came about. The simple point that that employee made on his post totally sums up how Niantic view things. And also he said that Niantic push AR investment much more than actual sensible investments into the game. Which I can kind of understand to a degree because it is an AR focused gaming company. Obviously they got... Ingress started off, then Pokemon Go, they got Wizards Unite. Wizards Unite has not done as well as everybody expected. I actually pre-registered my name and played it for about two days and got sick and tired because it was just too, too, too repetitive, really. Australia, if you, anybody from Australia is watching, I hope that you give decent feedback to Niantic and say that they don't need to do the gym nerf. If gym coins per hour were up to four, so you took it down by a third, not by two thirds. Potentially I could see that working if the five tasks you got to do gave you, what, two coins each maybe? Five coins each or something? Five coins from the tasks and then 
how you have it now in Australia of 27 hours to get 50 coins in your gyms is just stupid. Really? Anyway, look, with that, I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you are new with the notifications on and smash the like button if you've enjoyed it. And if you've managed to get your shiny Verizzi on yet, because as you saw, I'm still going to have to go for it. I will put up, I've got a couple of duo videos I want to get out there. Lewis has very kindly set up a Discord, so I'm going to put a Discord link in the description. And that is my Discord channel. Come and hang out. Post your shiny catches and your flexes and stuff. I'll be putting... I'll probably put my duo videos and stuff in there early um, and I'll try and make that into more of an exclusive thing so yeah a Pogo Milo UK discord channel is now available and with that take care everybody <laughs>